Right. So, same deal with Sebastian, except from the other side. What we got to do is get the last civilians and military craft out of Capella, and then detonate the node, therefore sealing the Shivans in the system. And um, I'm quite impressed with the performance of that last mission. Usually I lose at least two of the three cruisers and at least uh, one wing of fighters, but nobody died, nobody's even critical, and we have all three cruisers. I don't think they come with us onto the next mission, but it's nice to know that they're still ticking and could theoretically escape. Also, if you want to know the history of the Bastion, um, slash plug, watch my first ever Let's Play, slash plug. It was um, the ship from which uh, the fighter wings launched to end the Great War the first time against the Lucifer. And here it's being used to end the Great War in a different way, in the same way that the Lucifer actually destroyed Sol's jump node um, to Earth. Um, this uh, the Bastion has destroyed the Vega jump node. Well, not the Vega jump node, the other one. The one that's not as memorable. We're, we're about to destroy the Vega node from the other side. And we're in very good health and we have all our wingmen with us, so let's get to this and see how many lives we can save. Missile base! We have four freighters, one gas miner, and a transport now en route to the Vega node. The GBC Tanu and the Corvette Lemnos will provide fire support. Okay, command, we're sustaining heavy fire. We don't get fighter cover pronto, we'll never reach base. The SC Thanatos has been engaged. Two wings of Nahimas and a wing of Nephilim are inbound. Okay. Okay. Let's get on. Do we can to destroy the bombs. That's a confirmed kill. Now, the thing here is that we don't actually need to keep anyone alive. We can do as well or as poorly as we want to. This is very much just about getting everything we can out. And then, uh, you know, uh, running away ourselves. That's all that matters. Is Command doesn't expect anything to survive. Let's put it that way. It expects something to survive, but it doesn't really, uh, you know, think that much is going to make it. Hopefully we'll prove them wrong. Cyclops incoming. Let's get off. Let's get both guns going, actually, just for the fun of it. That was a rather close range bombing attack. Some damage against the Tanu. Against all these allied vessels, the Rakshas, the Thanatos should go down. Incoming Cyclops. Okay, Kaiser's out. Excellent. Ah, uh, shaking around there.
Don't give us a Thanatos. Somebody's jumping out there. Good. Sheevan. Kill them, kill them all. In case you're wondering, the Lebanos tends to stay behind and heroically try and do some final damage against the Sheevans. I don't think it's actually possible for it to survive this mission. Okay, we got dragons incoming. This is the tough part. Harpoon's away. See, it's got sideways thrusters, so it can uh, quite easily skirt out of danger. All right. Have incoming bombs. Where? We're attacking those transports. Too far away. Let's handle these dragons. Things we can kill. We've we've lost a lot of fighters now. That's not good. I don't think we can really help out those transports much, to be honest. Especially with our lack of support at the moment. Systems failing. Get support here pronto. I wonder if anyone's actually going to survive this. We got Theta Wing coming in. Good. The Shebans have destroyed the Miranda. We've lost the freighter and her cargo. Where's the Tarnu gone? Oh, it's going to help out. Never seen that happen before. It usually makes a run for Vega. You learn something new on every Let's Play. See something you've never seen before. And that's part of what makes it worthwhile doing them. Okay, Tarnu, could you get out of the way? Um, I've got Maxims to help you out. There we go. Especially since there's a cane glass. Notoriously soft. Excellent. Done well so far, and Tanu is currently crashing into the Lemnos. <laughs> Maybe it's just very stunned at its surviving, because the Lemnos tends to explode uh, very soon into this scenario. So all fighters... Okay, we got bombers incoming. Uh, I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Yes, sir! Everyone on me. Someone's coming in. I've got him in my sights. Bear in mind we've got Theta Wing to help us out here. Although they don't appear on the winger meter, as I like to call it. Oh, I've been calling it since now. <laughs> and that's a lot of bombs hitting the Le Leviathan. But those are tough ships, actually. The Zolna. Appreciate rearming soon, guys. The third convoy is in position. Two medical ships and four troop transports are now heading for the node. The GTC Sparta will help cover their escape. We will deploy the final convoy momentarily. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Okay. An allied war 
our ship has gone down. The Lemnos, I think. No, it's the Zona. There he goes, there's your bandit, who is firing through with his turrets. Bandits incoming! Lambda transport down. They're too far away, we can't really help. We have to just destroy what we can and focus on protecting the warships, I think. It's unfortunate, but we simply do not have adequate cover at the moment. Try helping out now. This mission has gone well, things considered. Usually things go horribly pear-shaped. And given that he's just called that a massacre, you can probably guess that horribly pear-shaped is um, very pear-shaped indeed. I do not exaggerate. Okay, All run. civilians on board the Omega Transport have reached the Vega system safely. Hooray! More chocolate-covered children. Or crispy chocolate-flavored children transports and tinfoil armor. Now, me wondering... Ah, the Tanu is making the jump. Yes, sir! Okay, we're going to abandon those transports. Why? You'll see. And why am I boosting towards the node? Well, again, you'll see. Do not question me. Right. So that Seraphim, I'm not sure what it's doing exactly. I mean, take power off engines. We're within safe distance of the node. And protecting this last medical transport. And that is the Sparta. And there's the Lemnos. Still holding out just about. Is the Sparta Aeolus? Yes. Bandits incoming! You guys just just defend this medical transport. I'll reiterate just in case. I'm on it. We are detecting a massive shockwave emanating from the Capella Sun. All units proceed to the Vega node. You are advised to leave the system immediately. This is the Lemnos, now proceeding to disengage and depart. It can't retreat in time, neither can the Hippocrates uh, or the Erephilus. So I'm going to jump along with my wingmen. Capella has gone supernova. Repeat, Capella has gone supernova. You must get to the... For your extraordinary record of confirmed kills, you have achieved the status of Triple Ace. Sorry, I'm... Oh. I... That is the last mission of the campaign. And we managed to get the Triple Ace. Oh, I, I am... I was not expecting that. That is... That is amazing. That is... Um, oh, wow. Let's find out exactly... Sorry, it seems kind of a... Uh, you know, inappropriate, but I'm just thrilled. I've never done that before. Let's just check. 22 kills. How many overall? 408. So 400 must be the triple ace mark. And this is rather odd because um, there shouldn't be a debriefing for this mission. It should go to a cutscene. Uh, it's very odd indeed. Let's just press accept and see what happens. Huh. Okay, well, I can extract the cutscene and play it for you, because otherwise the ending makes no real sense whatsoever. So, uh, roll cutscene, extracted from the game, and shoved in there.